You know what sucks? As a dog owner, I think I can speak for all dog owners when I say coming home to find your favorite shoes destroyed or the living room furniture not on is a terrible experience. We love our dogs, but man, they can be a little too much at times. And while chewing is a natural behavior and it's important for teething puppies, it definitely becomes problematic when your furry friend doesn't seem to recognize the difference between a chew toy and a designer shoe. Understanding the reasons behind this behavior and employing strategies to redirect it can save your belongings and your sanity. Not to mention, it's crucial for your pet's safety as well. So in this video, I'm going to aim to help all dog owners understand and effectively stop their pets from chewing inappropriately. So first things first, let's try to understand why they're chewing. The first one is their natural instinct. Dogs explore their environment with their mouths, much like humans use their hands. Chewing helps teething puppies soothe their gums, allows dogs to play, and even helps adult dogs keep their jaws strong and their teeth clean. However, when they start targeting furniture, shoes, or other valuables, it's a habit that needs addressing. Several factors contribute to inappropriate chewing, including teething, boredom, anxiety, lack of physical exercise, or insufficient mental stimulation. So identifying the correct cause is the key to resolving the behavior. So that's why your dog is chewing. Now here's a few strategies to redirect that chewing. So the first one is physical exercise. Regular physical activity is crucial for your dog's well-being. Boredom and pent-up energy often leads to destructive behaviors, including unwanting chewing. So you want to schedule daily walks, play fetch, or have a vigorous play session to help your dog burn off that energy. You'll also want to give your dog a lot of mental stimulation. Mental fatigue is just as important in curbing unwanted chewing. You want to engage your dog's brain with puzzle toys, hide and seek games, training sessions, or obstacle courses. A tired dog mentally and physically is less likely to chew destructively. You'll also want to make sure you're providing your dog with appropriate chew toys. You want to invest in a variety of chew toys that you know your dog enjoys. These can be rubber toys, ropes, or even specially designed treat dispensing toys. You want to rotate them regularly to maintain your dog's interest and make sure they're durable and safe. You want to consistently reward your dog for positive behavior. If they choose a chew toy over a furniture leg, you want to praise them for that and give them a favorite treat. Positive reinforcement helps your dog understand which behaviors are acceptable. You'll also want to set clear boundaries. If you catch your dog in the act, interrupt the behavior with a firm, not loud or aggressive, no, and redirect their attention to an acceptable chew toy. Consistency is key here. They need to learn that certain items are off limits. You want to use safe deterrents. There are non-toxic, pet-friendly deterrent sprays that taste bitter to dogs. If you apply these to your furniture, shoes, or other no-chew zones, this can be an effective deterrent. You'll also want to consider dog-proofing your home. Until your dog learns, it can be helpful to remove the temptation altogether. You want to keep your shoes and clothing in closed closets. Don't leave food on accessible surfaces and use protective coverings on furniture or areas your dog targets frequently. You could also consider professional training and obedience classes for your dog. Sometimes professional help is just the best route to take, especially for stubborn or extreme cases. Obedience classes and professional dog trainers can work wonders, often addressing underlying obedience or behavioral issues that might be contributing to the problem. You'll also want to look into and address the potential separation anxiety that your dog may be experiencing. Inappropriate chewing can be a sign of this. If your dog seems stressed or upset when you leave, or they're destructive only in your absence, then you'll definitely want to consult a professional. This condition often requires a more nuanced approach, including desensitization and more advanced training techniques. It's important to maintain a routine and consistencies. Dogs thrive on this, and it helps them to feel secure. Feeding, walking, and playing with your dog at the same times daily can provide a sense of stability, and this reduces stress-related chewing. You'll also want to maintain regular health checkups because the chewing can oftentimes be related to dietary deficiencies or other health issues. So regular veterinarian visits can help catch and address these potential problems early on. Chewing is a natural, instinctive behavior in dogs, but it's important to direct it appropriately for the safety of both your belongings and your furry friend. Understanding the reasons behind your dog's chewing and maintaining a consistent, 
mental stimulation, appropriate chew toys, training, and environmental management will help curb the unwanted behavior. Patience, consistency, and love are key in guiding your dog away from your shoes and towards their toy. Remember, every dog is unique, and what works for one might not work for the other. In persistent cases, or if you suspect health issues or severe anxiety, seeking advice from a professional dog trainer or veterinarian is the best course of action.